Hello everyone, this is Jesse Sandifer once again here to teach you about what I know about the things that we do as character artists. And this next chapter in my technical workflow series for AAA game characters is about baking mesh maps. Are you ready to learn how to bake? Baking is a lot of fun, some would say a very tasty stage. As you see here, we have our Miro board where we have everything charted out for the process. And we began all of this with the sculpt. The previous videos in the series here dealt with three topology and the texture coordinates. So we've moved on from that and we are now getting into making mesh maps. And the mesh maps are going to be very specific maps that come out of the high res data into our texturing program of choice, which would be Substance Painter, but we can bake in a couple different ways that I will be showing you today. The main one here is going to be uh, Substance Painter, but also we're gonna be doing Marmoset Tool Bag. I have X Normal here as well, but that's kind of, um, I don't know, I think some people still use it, I don't really know. I think the industry standards are the ones that I'll be using, and that's just to give us a little bit of different idea of how uh, to navigate these pieces of software to get what we need out of them to be able to texture. Baking is just deriving the data from the sculpt, getting everything we can out of it that we've created. We'll take all the baked maps and use them to help us create some nice non-destructive texturing and painting methods that will allow us to be flexible with how we output the final color maps and the roughness maps and metalness maps, all those kind of things. Since we are mostly focused here on PBR setup, physically based rendering, that will be most of what the AAA stuff is that you see out there. Here we got all three phases that we've done so far. We got the high poly on the right, we got the retopologized mesh in the middle, and the unwrapped UV checkered version in the left side. Now we're just missing the final bit here where we get into texturing. And so this is kind of getting more into creating maps and getting out of the geometry world, out of the mesh world. We're going into taking all this data that we've created uh, first artistically with the high poly and then with the more mathematical and plotting points uh, stage of uh, the retopology and then getting everything coordinated with texturing by having UV coordinates matched to the vertex data of each of those mesh points. Uh, all that's like part of the problem here that we have to solve for every game character we create. So as we're, we're creating our high poly, we're thinking about all these future stages. So think about these things as you create your, uh, your initial sculpt so you aren't creating any headaches for yourself in the, uh, the final stages here. So hopefully we've covered a lot of that throughout the videos thus far. But uh, for now, we just need to get in here and start organizing everything to, uh, to bake. Uh, without much further uh, wasting of time, let's get into organizing things. <laughs> <laughs>